Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk about how easy it is to be saved. Are you saved? Well, people ask you that and you're thinking, what are they saying? Saved from what? Well, what you're being saved from is the wrath of God against sin. The world is full of sin and God is holy and his judgment is going to come against the whole world. And if you're in that, you are going to perish for all eternity. So what you want to do is you want to make friends with the one and only Savior. He saves you from hell. Okay? It's a real big deal. You don't want to miss this. So it's really easy to be saved. A lot of um, people and the devil and his demons and a lot of Pharisees want you to think that it's so hard to be saved and that you have to have all A pluses on your record to be saved. But the truth is... You can have all F's your whole life. Everyone told you you were worthless and you failed at everything you tried to do. You can still be saved. It doesn't matter if you have murdered people. It doesn't matter if you've stolen money. It doesn't matter if you have abused people or committed crimes or just been a drug addict. It doesn't matter. Any of those things has no bearing on salvation. In fact, those are the very people that Christ really wants to come to him. Okay, so let's look at how easy it is to be saved. So Romans 10, 9 through 10 says this. If you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and in your heart believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, is that exciting? So look here. If you, if means you have a choice and you don't have to. You is you. Acknowledge and confess with your mouth, what? That Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And in your heart, believe, I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute, that God raised him up from the dead. You will a fact, be saved. Remember, there is historical documentation that over 500 witnesses saw him walking around after he was crucified. Okay? So that is not up for discussion because today in a court of law, you only need how many witnesses to validate something? Two. Okay? So that's a no-brainer. All right? So if you believe that in your heart that God raised him from the dead, after you acknowledge and confess with your mouth, you will be saved. Now, verse 10 explains this a little bit um, more in detail. It says, with the heart, a person, you, believes, we're going to talk about what that means in a minute, and so is justified. And with the mouth, he confesses and confirms his salvation. Okay, here's your mouth, confessing salvation. All right, so let's talk about what these words mean real quick. So if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you say out of your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and in your heart you really believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What does this word believe mean? This word believe means that you are, when you believe, you are adhering to like super glue. You are relying on like a rock, a granite rock, and you are trusting in Christ to do what? To do what he said he would do, to save you, right? You will be saved. You're trusting Christ when you believe that you will be saved because you have met the criteria for salvation. Speaking and believing. It's real simple, y'all. So let's look down here. With the heart, a person believes. We just talked about what that meant. And so is justified. What does that mean? It means that you are declared righteous in God's eyes. You are now acceptable to him. See, that's the only way that you can be ever acceptable to God is to be perfect absolute perfection. In fact, it's not just a perfection or a righteousness. It's the exact perfection and righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you have to get be, you have to be given that righteousness for you to enter heaven. That is the only righteousness that's absolute perfection that can enter heaven. So if you don't have that, doesn't matter what you believe, you're not getting in. Okay? Jesus Christ owns and rules heaven. There's only one heaven and he owns it and he rules it. So you need to know the king if you're going to get in. Okay? That's just a fact. And so when you are declared righteous, you are automatically acceptable to God. You're perfect. Ah, you can get into heaven. What would happen if one little bitty thing got in that wasn't perfect? It would ruin heaven. Do you think God's going to let someone ruin heaven? No, of course not. And then let's just look real quick at what confess means. With the, per with the heart a person believes and so is justified and with the mouth he confesses and confirms his salvation. What does confess mean? It means to declare openly with your mouth and especially in front of other people, that would be really good, and speaks out freely his faith. You speak out what you believe. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You'll say it anywhere because you know it's true. It doesn't matter if the whole world doesn't believe it. You know it's true because he lives in your heart and you can speak freely. Okay, so that's what those words mean. This is why it's so easy to be saved. Confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, in your heart of hearts. Believe, adhere to, rely on, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ to save you and that God raised him from the dead. All right, and here's a little model I made. Here, are you, here you are, and here you are confessing with your mouth right here, and that gets you salvation. And with your heart, you believe, and that makes you righteous in God's eyes. Okay, you say something and you believe something and you're saved. That's pretty simple, isn't it? All right, I hope this is helpful and I pray that you will say Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead because he wants you in his kingdom. He doesn't want you left down here in this garbage can we're living in. Okay, so be saved and do it today. I'll see you soon.